Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick, and you know it. This is 100% the outdoors. And today, we're doing something different, something I've never done on this channel because I'm using a brand new bait, which I won't disclose until I actually catch a fish with it and make sure that it actually catches fish before I disclose the bait. But I saw this bait on Target Walleye a couple of months ago, actually. And uh, I was like, I gotta get me some of those. Sorry, I'm probably talking into the wind right now. I'm trying to trying to do the sun and the wind at the same time. But I saw a couple of those baits on Target Walleye, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get some. We're gonna see if we can make something happen. We're going to be using the live imaging to track down some track down some river walleyes and see what uh, see what we can make happen. Right, let's do it. Come by two fish right here. Nice. That was awesome. They're right on the edges. That was wicked. Okay. I officially caught a walleye with the new bait. I watched it all in live imaging. That was wicked. I can show it off now. Oh, easy. 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 Nice. That's a good one, too. Nothing wrong with that. I got a bad sun angle the other way, so I'm going to do all my. Hero shots right here, about a nice, probably 21 inch or something like that. Going back, going back to the weeds, to the grass. Awesome. So here it is, the new Acme Tungsten Search Bait. Comes in two sizes. This is a 1 8 ounce, and uh, they also have a, a quarter ounce. I know they're gonna be making some other sizes in the future for a little bit deeper water applications, but this is the like I said, the, the Acme Tungsten Search Bait. It might just be Acme Search Bait, but this little propeller here spins ever so nicely in the water. You can reel it really, really slow. It comes with two options. It has a slow death hook and also has a regular J hook you can use as well. Right now I'm running the, the slow death hook, but I might switch to the other one with a regular J hook and see how that goes too. I was tipping that one with a night crawler. It's, it's definitely meant to be uh, tipped with bait for the most part, because you're gonna reel it in really slow. Usually for walleye, if you're going to fish fast, no bait. If you're going to fish really slow, bait. The one exception, the Ned Rig, I can get away with fishing really slow and not using bait. But if you're giving them time to sniff it and smell it, then you usually want to use bait. This lure definitely fits my fishing needs because I love to cast for walleyes. I love using the live imaging. You, wouldn't, you don't have to use the live imaging, but it definitely is going to help in terms of keeping your bait in the proper area the whole time oh yeah there we go i was just about to hit my uh talon here and this fish just come up and crushed it i tried to go to a, a grub tail here for a little bit instead of a night crawler just to see if i get something to go on that and yeah that's a nice fish very nice fish okay nice well, walleye number two, and that was uh, on a different uh, bait, a tickle shad, which I'll, I'll show off. Same, same bait, but I added a tail to it. So I actually had two rods rigged up, ready to go. And like I said, this one here, I put on a tickle shad, a 2.8 ounce, 2.8 ounce, 2.8 inch tickle shad on a 1 8 ounce uh, dirt tungsten uh, search bait there. And yeah, and that's on the, the J-hook. That's not on the, the fancy uh, slow death hook. That's just on the regular J-hook that it comes with. So, okay, fish two. I didn't see that one on the live imaging eat, but me, oh, I didn't see it. Maybe it was on there if uh, I'm going to put it in the video. I'm not sure because I was just looking down to Talon actually, and that's when I got whacked. That was wicked. That was wicked. Right up that whole bank. Watched him eat it right there. That was wicked. Nice fish too. Hardly, hardly ate it. Went back to the night crawler again. 
just because they seem to be a little bit more finicky right now. It's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh, that was wicked. Easy, easy. That's the biggest of the day for sure so far. Oh, there's a big pike behind it. Should I let him eat it? There's a big pike right here. Big pike. Not giant, but nice. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, that was nice. Probably like a beautiful 24 inch or something like that. Watched him eat right near the boat. Epic. Whoa, sorry buddy. Not the most graceful release, but at least he flopped in the water and not in the boat. So I feel like the time and the place for this bait is going to be more into that midsummer area where the walleyes are starting to feed more upwards or when they're chasing bait fish. They're not really necessarily feeding into the dirt anymore. This is gonna like be a, a great bait instead of uh, trolling around a bottom bouncer or something like that. If you wanna be active in cast form, you can make long casts and then find your cadences right to where it should be in the water column and just reel it in slow. So it's just a, another way to replace like the spinner blade basically later season. I wouldn't, I don't think this bait will come in handy early season when they're eating it out of the dirt. Although I could possibly do like a, a pop retrieve, something like that. It might actually work for it too. And maybe I'll try that with a tickle shad a little bit, but the way it's set up is if you're gonna pop it all the time, that, that back hook could come and hook on your line and mess up your bait. It's more of a steady retrieve bait so far from what I can notice. Oh, nice. I, I picked up those fish in the live image when I turned, cast it to it. I didn't see it eat on it, but I just kind of put it in its range where it was. Nice, this is a really good rod for this. This is a Elliott rod, custom rod. Sorry, lost my train of thought for a minute. This one is the, uh, let's see here. It's a medium light I said, this is a 6.9. I have a 7.1 and a 6.9 medium light. So I wasn't sure which one it is, but this is a really good rod for this application. A medium light, I'm sure is probably gonna be your best bet for a slow cast retrieve. Another nice walleye. These river walleyes are dark here. Just another beautiful fish. For those of you that don't know, if you take a walleye and put it in your uh, hand, right on its belly, you can almost like paralyze them. I'm not even holding it right now. I'll try to turn my hand here. See how my thumb's not even holding it. You can paralyze a walleye pretty good by just letting it sit there right on your hand with the belly. So it's a great way for kids to get photos and stuff like that with their walleye. I'm definitely not having any problem getting these fish to follow. They're just full knot committing. And obviously I feel like right now, probably fishing for them in the dirt is going to work better than up high. There's going to be a time and a place for this bait, right? Like it's not going to be an every, every day situation where you'll be able to use this bait. It's going to be really determined by what the mood of the walleyes are in and what they're feeding on. Nice, just pitching ahead, finding fish on the live imaging. Nothing wrong with that at all. Love it, love it. Looks like a nice Walter again. Walla walla. Oh yeah. Oh, Clayton. Okay, that's all good. It's all good, we're gonna release them anyway. We're gonna release them anyway. right out of the weeds of course it's a pike there's other fish there too but ha right out of the weeds that was awesome that was awesome pitched right to it is it going to be a pike again i really hope it's a walleye but it's a it must be a pike it's a walleye it's a big walleye saw that fish live imaging yeah it's got to be a pike I think it's a a nice pike not a giant pike but a nice one that was pretty epic saw him in the live, Im live imaging on that shelf pitch to it caught it what do we got here the question is how big a pike I'm thinking like a 35 inch or so oh yeah that's not a small pike that's not a small pike 
you really watch you can you can almost tell when they're gonna run they'll start to do a couple tail wags and you can get ready for that run as long as i'm the hook isn't hooked in a bad spot i should have landed i'm on 10 pound test with uh a 14 pound fluorocarbon leader i know there'll be some pike in this system so i went a little bit heavier might have to go to the back of the boat here i think i'll be okay i think i'll be okay as long as it's not hooked funny this isn't a rod you'd want to target pike with but it will handle it if needed oh yeah that's not a 35 incher that's a bigger fish that's closer to a 40 inch pike <laughs> what a life okay we got him that's a big fish big fish Oof. beautiful i'm not going to measure him because i fought him for long enough but it's probably a 40 41 inch pike thick one that's nice fish i'd measure it if i was uh put it in the net and didn't tire him out so much but we're just going to get him back you know what maybe only even be a 39 or 40 he's got a really really short tail like really short and fat poor guy built like a 41 but i only think it's probably a 38 or 39 now that when i look at the the tail of that fish very cool that was awesome saw a pile of fish up on that shelf cast it out and boom this search bait is going to be a pile of fun i think right now i feel like i'm a little too early for it most of the wall i seem to want to go to the bottom and eat but this is this bait's going to be a pile of fun especially with live imaging just another beauty not too big that'd be a good eater but a i don't know 18 inch right there perfect eating size walleye so the one little thing i added to this hook here is a little piece of of grub right here just because i noticed the night crawler was sliding down that slow death hook a bait button would work really good but i just cut off a little uh piece of a, a, a used tickle tail there and put it on there to stop that night crawler from sliding down small little adjustments obviously you got to make with new baits when you play with them but that's the one thing i noticed is the night crawler wanted to keep sliding so little i think the, the bait button would be ideal but a used grub or plastic will do just as good one of the cool things i learned with live imaging is you can really figure out where your bait is better like usually people think that when they're they're reeling they're always close to the bottom but to be honest with you i can get this bait pretty far off the bottom even when i'm reeling nice and slow so it shows you that like when you you're you're not always in the zone being in the zone is probably the most important thing and that's what live imaging will do is it'll keep you in the zone the whole time if nothing else when you use it a little bit then when you're out there fishing you're kind of thinking more right like this i'm not trying to drag it along the bottom i'm trying to just bring it just a little bit off the bottom you're trying to get to that that period where the walls are starting to feed upwards looking up coming up and smashing like there like they eat crankbaits i guess they obviously pin crankbaits to the bottom sometimes spinners are, are a perfect example though of baits that they're going over top of their head and they're coming up and they're crushing it which is kind of what this is mimicking but the live imaging really helps you keep that bait in that zone the whole time that was wicked never did see that on live imaging unless unless they'll see it without uh or on the video portion portion of it but just casting out and reeling in so much fun powerhouse powerhouse walleye sure hasn't been anything small nothing nothing great big but nothing small though either well the lure works quite well I'm not gonna lie awesome another like a 20 23 ish something like that see ya see ya so oh, there's a bunch of fish out here so this bait being tungsten it's going to show up a little bit better on the live imaging than say a lead jig would which is really nice to be able to track it and i do find find that the live scope is way better than mega live for jig tracking as well but it's uh tungsten so obviously it's a little bit more too because tungsten does cost more than than lead to manufacture but yeah these fish are following for a long time so i'm going to make a farther cast here and drag the oh 
<laughs> I just went so soft and slow with it. And that fish ate it right off of the bottom, just dragging it real, real slow. That was awesome. Keeping it in the strike zone is definitely the target or the key. Oh, it's a, it's a pike. You don't even count. You don't even make my method look good because you just would have ate it anyway. Oh, that was cool though. That was cool. That was wicked. Just had cast it out to a fish that I saw. Nice. Is it a walleye or a pike? It's a walleye. I just started to move it, so he must have chased it down to the bottom. And it's my first crank. Boom. Fish on. Fish on. Okay. See ya. <laughs> I'm loving this thing. Okay. Just another decent walleye. This bait will be found in the description of this video listed below right from the Acme website. I feel like it's going to be a midsummer and fall time bait. Slow rolling minnows over rock piles. How low? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. I tried to just lift it in. It's all good. It was, uh, wasn't anything special. It was basically like the other size of fish I've caught. But like I said, this bait listed below. You made a mess of it right there with my night crawler. They got an eighth ounce and a quarter ounce. I'm using the eighth ounce today, uh, but I'm fishing less than 10 feet. I'd say if you're gonna be fishing like eight to 20 feet, you're definitely gonna wanna go with a quarter ounce. I know they're working on some more sizes for the future. And yeah, it's a, it's a tungsten bait. So it will track very well on live imaging versus lead lead baits the tungsten shows up a little bit better i find and active target from lawrence and garmin live scope are two of the best for the jig tracking the hummingbird live imaging is not or mega live is not as good for tracking your bait i find this i could track my bait no problem from 50 60 70 feet out so thank you so much for watching and don't forget get outside <laughs>